<laughs> right, so I'm just Josh and this is my Doom Buggy channel. So this car, my car, my Doom Buggy, 1958 pan, early 70s fiberglass body, I don't know the manufacturer. If you figure it out, uh, please comment down below um, and let me know who makes my body. I haven't seen a stamp. I haven't seen any manufacturer markings of any kind. It's definitely not a, a Manx. I have a book and it has every Doom Buggy for the most part in it. It's like a catalog of Doom Buggies and I can't find it in that exactly. So I have a guess, but we'll get to that. This car has a, uh, it, someone put electric tape around the whole bottom edge of the body and uh, it's been on there, I don't know when. I, I have my, I have some uh, guesses on how many lives this buggy has lived. Um, a few, for sure. And uh, I would imagine this got redone in the 90s. It had a, a very 90s um, steering wheel. So this was on the car when I first bought it. It is a Grant um, old school with the like red, yellow, and purple. To me, that says very 90s. So I think in the 90s, it probably got redone. That's when they put this electric tape on here. So <laughs> all I'm doing is, is taking the electric tape off and it's been kind of a process. Uh, I just, I've tried scraping and peeling and uh, now I'm down to uh, acetone and razor blades. And that's uh, that's been working the best. Okay, so a couple things I wanted to show you. It's hard to see. so. Here is the, uh, what's left of the electric tape that I'm working on removing. It's actually been a huge hassle, uh, bigger than I thought it'd be until I discovered the razor blade. So it ran the whole perimeter of the car. Um, and then, you know, there's still some here, excuse my messy garage, but it's been, it's taken me quite, you know, several hours to get this all off. And it was just, it was actually like, double taped so it was like two layers um and we're just down to this and it like it literally just does not want to um you know come off it's a it's a hassle and uh <laughs> i'll check back in in a, in a little bit after i made some progress on this little section right here it, it, i mean it's taken me quite a while you know from it was just a thick it was a black strip like this just here to here just this black tape that's been on there for that's what we're doing this evening <laughs> That's been working the best. So anyway, I hope to make lots more uh, content of this car. Uh, and as I, f you know, change things and fix things, um, I've done a few things already. It, it's, uh, it has a long way to go for me. I mean, I wanna eventually do a motor and interior and then maybe re-gel coat the body because it's, it's seen better days. There's cracking, there's chipping, there's just all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, and a new body is out of the question because I actually, I emailed Myers Manx and asked them, uh, I was confused on the pricing because it said it was like $3,000 and that was like a deposit. And then the second half was due on completion. So it was six, six thousand, sixty, six thousand five hundred, maybe around there. Because I, I like the uh, the really sparkly, very 60s looking, uh, you know, gel coat paint to make it look like, you know, early 70s, late 60s. And that was like $6,500 for a new body, which has improvements and all. And uh, yeah, if I could afford it, I would, I would do it. But I'm going to stick with this. So uh, it's still raining outside. And uh, I got to I actually... A few days ago there was a break in the rain and I took the car out for a drive and uh, it was just, uh, I can't wait for summer, can't wait for spring, can't wait for summer, can't wait to drive my car. Um, so yeah.